Hello my loves, welcome back. As you guys can tell, we're in a little bit of a different location today. And by different, I mean we're in the same location, we just pivoted it just a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of been the overarching energy of 2021, at least for me it has been. At least all of those sounds that are trapped in your mind. <laughs> has been mostly like me just kind of pivoting with how the universe or how the divine sees me as it opens up new doors and opens up new windows and lets the fresh air come through and lets fresh energy flow through. Ha! Got he! Ha! Got he! <laughs> I want to stay in a space where I am open, I'm malleable, I'm flexible because that's when we tap into bigger blessings. And this is not just in the larger aspects of our lives, but also the more intimate, smaller details, which is exactly what that you're seeing here today. So, for those of you guys that are old time subscribers of Bahati Life YouTube channel, or even recent subscribers of YouTube channel, you've heard me say this in last week's video, that I launched Bahati Life Podcast. Which has been wildly successful, at least from my standards and my terms, because I thought that I was gonna be serving a smaller audience, I mean, significant enough, you know, Just to think that I'm actually being able to talk to you guys about astrology every week. I heard Mercury is in retrograde. I don't know what it means, but everybody's talking about it, so it can't be good. I can sit down and chat about, you know, my beliefs and what it is I love so much and, you know, share my predictions with you and hear your feedback. That in itself is the largest blessing. And to say a smaller audience does not do it justice. I didn't realize that the feedback and the energy and the excitement for the podcast was so large and so huge and so enthusiastic and so encouraging. I have been really spending a lot of time with the divine lately asking questions about, yo, having, now that I've done this, what do you see for me? <laughs> <laughs> where you want me to go and how do I also take this with me if you will allow it and that's a message that I want to carry into this week's video and I want to talk to you guys about is now that Sun Venus Mercury and Chiron are now sitting in the sign of Aries and moving through the sign of Aries we are all being ushered into new chapters in our lives and new stories are things that we're writing right now. New ventures are things that we're taking on. All of those things can be really crippling sometimes in, in the fear that it can strike in us. I can see that by looking at the chart. I'm really interested in hearing, you know, what life has been like for you guys lately with this whole specifically, specifically Mars moving to the sign of Gemini. I'm so curious to hear how you guys are navigating through this. If you don't know, Mars moving through Gemini can create a lot of irritability and it can make you on edge in a lot of ways. But at the same time, you are so encouraged to journal, to write things down, to publish, to get into the realms of publishing and sharing your messages, those spaces of communication, because that's what Gemini rules. I'm curious in hearing if you guys have found yourself writing more, needing to get it out of your head, out of your heart, and onto paper. That's something that I wanna say that earlier on today, I was shuffling cards and I kept pulling the magician card and I also kept pulling the moon card. The magician reminds us of who we are, our personal power, and that everything that we need to be successful was given to us at the moment that is that we're born, including the tools and the resources that will help to guide us to our highest potential. And one of those things, of course, I think is the astrology chart, but one of the main things is our intuition. And a lot of you guys are going to feel and have a really deeper sense of clarity and guidance that is coming from an intuitive place. Now, I talked about this in Bahati Life podcast which I'll link down below. If you guys are turning, tuning in today in order to get these astrological predictions and my visions for this week ahead, I wanna suggest and kind of reroute you over to the podcast because that's where I really dive into it. But right now, I just wanna kind of give you guys like a life update, an energy update, just kind of sit, chit, and vibe with you um, because also that's kind of the direction that I'm taking the YouTube channel. So far, we'll see what happens. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I've been spending a lot of time in my sacred space, sacred spaces, I'll say that, because there's more than one. Um, I just kind of have lately been finding myself 
sitting in my outdoor sacred space, which you guys have seen a lot. That's where I do my candles and my intention oils and do my cloud cam because I have awesome vision of the clouds kind of passing throughout the day, which is so awesome to watch. Then also my internal sacred space, which I don't always share outside of my desk area. Let's shuffle some cards and see what's going on. Let's do a whole energy read. If you guys are really tuning in right now in order to check out the astrology chart and the predictions for this week ahead, I'm gonna, again, like I said, reroute you <clears throat> to the podcast, which I'll link below, and um, encourage you to check out the Honey Life podcast on all major podcasting streaming sites. Right now, we're just gonna do an energy read and just kind of open the door here to see what's happening around us and also give you an update in where I'm at and what's going on with me. Okay, so first things first, I think this is really refreshing energy. You guys can't see this, so I'm gonna do my best to show you. We're gonna work with what we got. So the first cards that are jumping out are the Fool card. We also have the Nine of Pentacles, which has been showing up a lot lately. The Knight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, I'm sorry, Knight of Swords, yeah, and Nine of Swords Reverse, and also the Sun card. I'm going to put these down on the ground just because I like to ground myself and center myself as I'm working. It helps me to kind of flow with these energies even more. As a Virgo, I always need to ground myself big time when I'm working with spirit and working with my intuitive guidance. This feels really ref ref refreshing. I'll say that. And I will say that that's refreshing because when I was pulling the charts for the week ahead, for the podcast, I was getting a lot of moon cards. I was getting a lot of internal conflict with eight of swords type energy. And I could sense that there is few, a lot of people kind of grappling with their own internal troubles, things that are really, really bothering them that can really catch you off guard. I'm, I was big time getting a sense with nine of wands and seven of wands. The fact that I can remember the fact all the cards that I pulled earlier today is just pat on the back, pat on the back for Jess. I, I was kind of feeling like some people are kind of caught off guard and I am feeling intuitively that this is not just things that we plan for, things that we expect, but the highs and the lows that come with success and also failure or challenges as well as when things are just working out seamlessly and smoothly. I feel that as Aries energy is in the forefront of all of our energy right now, you know, that's where we're at. That's what we're sitting in. There are so many doors that are opening up for us and there's so many doors that are opening up for you. And you have to have the confidence, you have to have the gut, you have to have the audacity sometimes to believe in yourself enough to take that first step forward. And some of you guys are feeling this internal blockage or internal battle, so to speak, with feeling like you're asking for too much or you're being selfish. I'm, I'm hearing the words terms, like to, I feel bad just putting things in my terms the way that I want them to be. But the thing is, is that spirit right now is always calling you to trust in what it whispers into your spirit, into your spirit. Higher spirit is always speaking to your higher self. I'm so sorry about that, you guys. My battery died and my message that I was sharing just, you know, poof, disappeared. But in that time, of me realizing that, I was really sitting with the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So Knight of Swords and Nine of Swords. And this really interesting message came through for me right next to the Sun card and the Fool card. And that is sometimes our logical brains look for tangible evidence or science or math to prove and to support our intuitive hunches and our intuitive feelings. Your answers, your guidance are going to come from source. And that's what the sun is. The sun is the center of our solar system, but it provides light, warmth, and nourishment for us for generations and since you know the beginning of life on earth really without the sun we would be left in darkness we would be plummeted into darkness and we wouldn't be able to survive you are guided to your light you are guided to your source and this is something that with the fool card and with the nine of pentacles it's going to come from within you it's going to come from deep within you an intuitive feeling an intuitive hunch 
the problem occurs and the problem arises when we try to logically explain or convince ourselves of things that cannot be evened out through math, that cannot be explained through science. It's a vibe, it's an energy, it's an intuitive hunch, it's a message from the divine, it's a message from the above. And the more that you try to rationalize it, the more that you try to reason with it, the more that you try to logically explain it, the more tricky and problematic it becomes. And that's when you start second guessing yourself and diminishing your own light. I wanna remind you that the Nine of Pentacles is here and also the Fool card. This is the universe's way and spirit's way of encouraging you to build your own castle, to build your own life, to build your own legacy, and to encourage you to, to ask yourself, okay, who am I? How do I want to be defined? How do I want to feel every day? What do I want my world to look like? It's not selfish to ask those questions and it's not selfish to ask for more from your experience or once you get to a certain point in your journey to stop, to breathe, stretch, shake, and reconnect back to this, this higher source, this higher light and ask, okay, now that I'm here, now that you've guided me thus far, what do I do now? Or now that I'm here, there's some things that I feel like you're telling me at this moment in my life, I should change, I should shift, I should, I should switch, I should pivot. Inspire me, guide me, and give me the confidence to believe in and to trust what it is that you're saying and to trust what it is that I'm feeling within, within myself and then to then take those first steps, to then carry on. At the very root of this reading and at the very base of this tarot pile is the star card. It's having a hard time focusing, but it's okay trust so that in itself is a message but it's the star card this shows me that and it shows you that sometimes we have to wait for the darkness we have to wait for the quiet we have to wait for the world to go about its business and not avoid us or ignore us you creating the space to allow the dust to settle so that you can reconnect back into your faith for you to reconnect and to re-envision and to reimagine all of the potential, all that it could be. Where does that come from? It comes from spirit, it comes from source. I don't know if I said it in this video and if it got cut out when my battery died, but at the time that you were born, I believe this, at the time that you were born, the divine gave you the tools, the resources that would help you to find your way throughout this life and live up to your highest Full, most authentic potential. So some of the tools that were given to us are our intuitive gifts or our strengths and our challenges. And then also the astrology chart. The astrology chart is a full map of who we are as an individual and what we are not to be, but who we are. And we're always reminding ourselves of that in everything that we do, in every way that we move. There's so many different aspects within ourselves that we will discover. There's so many aspects within ourselves that we are curious about. There's so many different aspects of ourselves that we are encouraged to explore. And you're not meant to be contained into one tiny bubble in order to make it more reasonable, in order to make it easier to explain or easier for the, all the math to add up, like, I, like it was that I was saying. You're meant to evolve, you're meant to shift, you're meant to change, and it's meant to be, be vibrant and colorful. The Emperor card, wow, the Emperor card is also one of the second cards that is jumping out, as well as the Hermit card, oh my God, and then also the Two of Cups and the Three of Swords reversed and the Ten of Pentacles, oh my God, and the Chariot and the Queen of Cups reversed. So all of these cards together are showing me leadership regardless of how you identify with the emperor card showing up this is about understanding uh your ability to create stability your ability to ground yourself your ability to call the shots your ability to trust in the higher power your ability to maintain boundaries your ability to say no enough is enough your ability to say i want more for myself then the hermit card is the time in your life that you're invited to go in back into the internal to ask those questions in the dark of the night now this doesn't necessarily have to be nighttime it's about going into your sacred space your internal world in order to ask yourself and to create the boundaries to protect that because it's it's important it's valid um not only for you but also you know for anybody else that this could potentially be touching or impacting two of cups is about what you are aligning with 
not only with relationships and businesses and but also like what you are synchronizing with what you're harmonizing with the three of swords is here reversed to help you to move past the things that have been hindering you from healing is what i'll say and i just feel like in that quiet space you are just encouraged to explore it even further i just feel like with ten of pentacles and the chariot card and the star card the gates swing open even wider and movement just starts to occur even faster and it's this queen of cups reversed that aspect within yourself that has been neglected that has been wanting more that has been calling more she's the one who gets filled even more she gets emotionally filled she gets happiness she gets joy she gets pleasure she doesn't have to ask or demand respect it's just ultimately given to her she feels complete she feels whole she doesn't isn't confined confined or contained to however it is that you identify as this is about the feminine aspect within yourself every single one of us that wants to be wants to be seen wants to be heard and held and that's what i see ultimately you know all of this this week or the time that is at your watching this video i just feel like there's the feminine energy the feminine form really wants to be poured into right now and that's that's who's at risk right now that's where the blessing is that's who has the most to gain and that's found within you all right you guys so if you guys are interested in down for hearing a more of a more intimate life update and everything that's been going on in my life you know i'm haven't done one of those in a really really long time i think the last time i did that was when i was moving out of philadelphia and into new orleans please let me know down in the comments there are a lot of things going on in my life that are just really really awesome really really awesome in my more public life my professional life jada pinkett smith reached out to me to link up with her for her new series which is on facebook watch it's called jada's essentials which was such an honor and such a blessing to work with her my virgo sister I'm jada pinkett smith i am presenting to you jada's essentials I wanted an opportunity to share with you a group of women who have inspired me. My name is Kachita Gopi. I'm Layla Delia. I'm Jessica Alexandria. I'm Lynn Richardson. Hi, my name is Karen Sybil. Shanoa Maxwell. Queen of Fuller. You know what? Just Google me, yo, because I'm being complicated. Each week, you get to meet aspirational, inspirational, powerful women who have impacted my life. I am your spiritual guide on your path to wellness. You want to make noise? Let's do it. Let's use that as our meditation. She will be sharing with you seven tips. You do not need to have anxiety because you don't have enough money. To enhance your life in some way. When you know peace, no power. So rock with us. There's always an option out there to gain knowledge. Find one that works for you. Jada's Essentials. I hope they will inspire you as well. So um, definitely check, check out that series. In my more intimate, more private life, there have been some really awesome changes that you guys are not going to believe that are currently in the works that I'm really excited to share as they occur, as they happen. So let me know if you're down to hearing them. Also, I was really excited and I'm feeling very excited to maybe start sharing some of my diet, my lifestyle, practices, rituals, and habits with you guys. I feel like a lot of you have been asking about that for quite some time. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm in a space and a place right now where I'm feeling very encouraged and excited to share that with you in my own way, and my own light. And I have a few videos that you have requested that I've already filmed. I just need to finish editing them, editing them, and get them up for you ASAP, ASAP Rocky, okay? So I'm sending you guys all of my love. I'm sending you all the blessings in the world that you can possibly fathom, that you can possibly envision for yourself. I hope that you are well. I hope that you have peace. I hope that you have love, safety, and security. And I want to invite you also to subscribe to the YouTube channel, of course, because there's plenty more videos I escape from. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.